You finished those ortho views for me? There you go. Looks great. Thanks. Here's the key to the cabinet. Whatever books you take out, be sure to put them back when you're done. They're too old and fragile to carry around. I will. And leave the key in the lock. I'll grab it later. Anything else? I'd better get going. Bye. Later. This cornerstone looks different than it did in that book. Hey, little guy. What's up? What are you doing? Hey! Come back here! He must have some kind of nest up there. Like the black Hi, cat I stalking to to Izzy. Just wondered how you were doing. You at the school? I sure am. So how's it going? Great. The girls I met so far are bright and interesting and seem to like me. Of course they like you. I hope so, because I can tell already that where you fit in socially around here is huge. They got a pecking order going, huh? And it is brutal. Like junior high on steroids. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Be myself? Ned, I'm a detective. I'm pretty much here to spy on people. If they get wind of that... Like I said, just lie through your teeth and you'll do fine. What about the case? Any luck tracking down the source of those mysterious notes? They're being sent by someone who signs them as the Black Cat, complete with a paw print and scratch marks. And only valedictorian candidates have been getting them. 
Think someone there has a grudge against Brainy Kids? Or one of the Brainy Kids is trying to get rid of her competition. Being valedictorian is that big a deal? It's a very big deal. The valedictorian gets a college scholarship. Full ride, school of her choice. But how smart can these kids be if they're intimidated by a bunch of silly notes? It's midterm study break. The kids who chose to stay at the school are cramming for tests and madly writing papers. The notes may be silly, but they're still distracting. And some of the accidents that have followed them have been pretty malicious. Malicious, huh? You're not posing as a valedictorian, are you? No, I'm not. Good. Although I am living on the same floor as they are. You just had to throw that in, didn't you? Sorry. So what is your plan? I'm going to search every inch of this place and question everybody I see until something or someone leads me to the black cat. And in the process, you're going to be very, very careful. Right. Right. All the seniors here get assigned weekly work-study jobs. Guess what mine is? Cleaning erasers. No. Collecting milk money. No. Sharpening pencils. Snack shop boss. Snack shop boss? I have to stand behind the counter in the rec room and fill kids' snack orders. If I don't do it at least once a day, I get demerits. If I fill a lot of orders in one day, I get credits. You sound excited. I am excited. I like earning credits. I also like listening in on everybody's conversations while I fill their orders. Ah. The notes from the black cat may have something to do with a teacher named Rita Hollowell. Oh yeah? What'd she teach? Literature. At least she did, about 150 years ago. Excuse me? She helped found Waverly Academy back in 1866. And do you think she has something to do with notes being sent to students now? Not only did she have a black cat, but it looks like she hid something very valuable somewhere in Ramsey Hall. That's the old building I'm staying in. That's interesting. Does anyone else know about this? I'm not sure, but if someone does know and is trying to find out what Hollowell hid, that might explain the notes from the black cat. You know, you're going to have to be real careful what you ask and tell people from now on. Because if someone is trying to find it, and realizes you may be trying to find it too... I'll be careful, Ned. Don't worry. Too late. That's it for now. Stay on your toes. I always do. See you, Ned. How's it going? Is it true you just got a second note from the black cat? No, I'm pretty sure the note I got was from Leela. It was a lame attempt to get even with me for stealing her stupid boyfriend. Do you think she sent the first note too? Who cares? The black cat can send me as many notes as she wants. They're just words on paper. What do you think about Mel and that plagiarism charge? I'm not surprised. Like I said, she's psycho. She wouldn't think twice about doing something like that. Apparently someone named Jacob Price tried to make it look like Mel plagiarized her own paper. You mean Jacob framed her? Yeah, right. Isn't Jacob Price your current boyfriend? Yeah, but don't forget. 
Until very, very recently, Jacob was Leela's boyfriend. You want to point fingers? Maybe you should start with my roommate. I'd really like to see that second black cat note you got. Sorry, I did the same thing to it that I did to the first note. Burned it. I'll catch you later. See ya. Come on in. How goes it? That book on music theory you checked out, could I take a look at it? No problem. As long as you go get me some milk and a cookie from the snack shop. It's not that I'm too lazy to do it myself, it's just that... You have a certain image to maintain. And milk and cookies don't exactly enhance it. Understood. I'll be back. It looks like Mel was framed for plagiarism by someone named Jacob Price. Jacob? You're kidding me! Wow, Izzy's already got him doing her dirty work. That sure didn't take long. So Jacob didn't have any kind of personal grudge against Mel? Far as I know, they've never even met. No, he did it for Izzy. The two of them have probably been sneaking around behind my back for months. That's it for now. Hit him hard! Attention, everyone. As of now, the snack shop is open. I have got such a crush on Mr. Harris, I can't stand it. You and every other girl at Waverly. Not every girl. Oh, I'm sorry, you're right. Just the ones who take calculus. but he's not really what you'd call hot. Food's ready. ready. Well, if she doesn't want it, I'll take it. I think he's a dog. There. All done. I'm here. You've got my snack. Awesome. Here you go. Perfect, thanks. All yours. What else?